Some insane stuff happened here. Within these rocks remains the evidence of colossal clouds of hot volcanic ash and lava charging into the seas as fast as a bullet train. This is Shi Ti Ping, part one. This was the stuff that was floating around in the air right after a giant eruption and then came crashing down afterwards. This is an ignimbrite. As it was tumbling down the volcano at rocket speeds, like flour when you add a little bit of water, this volcanic ash started to clump together. This occurrence is called a pyroclastic flow. Volcanic ash propels down the slope of a volcano at speeds up to 200 miles per hour. This is a lava bomb. Imagine a volcano erupting and globs of lava are shooting out into the air. That glob of lava hitting the cold air instantly cools and falls down as a hard rock crashing into the ground. And that's what this is. Lava bomb, lava bomb, lava bomb, lava bomb, big lava bomb. You can see clearly here that this is a place where multiple volcanic eruptions have been recorded. There are actually many, many layers here showing that there have been probably dozens, hundreds of different of volcanic eruptions of different sizes that have leveled out here, likely in a shallow ocean area. I'm thinking this place used to be a shallow ocean environment because there are some layers of sandstone here showing us that there were times where there weren't any eruptions at all. It's just sand simply settling out. Also, there's some cross bedding here, which is evidence of the sand being moved likely by shallow ocean currents. These rocks piled up at the foot of an island volcano way out in the Philippine Sea, but it's moved and is now part of Taiwan's coastal mountain range. In giant collisions like these, rocks tend to bend or entirely fold over. We're at Shi Ti Ping to look for clues. Is up really up? Oh, here we go, it's a lava bomb. There's a pretty clear depression underneath it showing us that gravity was pulling it down in this way. So this way was probably up. Let's keep looking. We have another way up indicator here. This denser rock fell down on this soft sediment, causing it to push it down and this got squeezed up. You can kind of see the flow direction where this literally fell down and landed right here. You can kind of see a little bit of a, some motion in this glob of rock here. Last thing, last thing, check out those rocks in the distance tilting in the opposite direction. Is this a big anticline fold we're looking at? You see it? Do you see it? Ooh, big fold. Check out that fold. Wait, wait, so what's this rock? Is it even a rock? There's actually a completely different story to tell here at Shi Ti Ping, just a less explosive one. This is limestone. Limestones can look like this or like this. Still, their main component is calcium carbonate, which is also what most seashells and corals are made out of. Over time, as busted up skeletons of ocean creatures settle on the seabed in over 10,000 to a million years, they can recrystallize into a new amalgam called a limestone. This, this is real life coral. This will turn into this. These limestones are the relics of a bustling sea critter city. The best part about this place is that you don't need to go far to envision what it probably looks like all that time ago. Whoa, yo, yo look at that urchin. This is by far my favorite geologic outcrop on Taiwan's east coast. There's just so many things to explore here and I, and I can't recommend enough a visit to Shi Ti Ping because this video only really scraped the surface of all the stuff you can see and explore here. So uh, let, also let me know if you liked this long form style of video in the comments. Please subscribe and share this video to show more people Taiwan's incredible geology.